All right, hello everyone. Hello, Kyle, question mark, gaming, Gano, Ethan, Kai, Fizzork. Right, Oops. <laughs> I forgot to mute my phone before I went on. Um, <laughs> hello, and uh, did I miss anyone? Star Spectrum, <laughs> before I got interrupted. Uh, welcome to uh, Heat More Redesign. So, this is uh, the first of who knows how many uh, redesigns that were requested by viewers. Uh, basically, for the last three redesigns, I've been uh, collecting suggestions, and the vast majority of the, select of the suggestions was only done once. Uh, there was a very small number of suggestions that were done by multiple people or on multiple occasions. I, w I wouldn't know. <laughs> I wasn't keeping track of who suggested what. Um, but Heat More uh, was one of the ones that got suggested twice. And then uh, when I was telling my wife in to go, oh, you know, the next one's going to be fan requested and I don't know exactly what it's going to be yet because I haven't gone through and tallied all of the suggestions. Uh, and then Indigo, who is also in the chat now, hello, uh, <laughs> was like, oh, you should do Heat More. And then it turned out that with, with that suggestion, uh, Heat More became the, the most voted one. Uh-oh. I can see on one screen that my chat is uh, still going, but on the other screen, I'm not seeing new chat messages. Um, well, in, while I try to figure this out, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit the like button. Uh, that helps to uh, to, to promote the, the stream for more people to see it. Uh, yes, Indigo, you were the deciding vote. That's right. Um, Star Spectrum being a he big Heat More fan, I never thought that people might have any problems with this design, so I'm very curious how it's going to turn out. Uh, you know, I, I kind of like it. It's not one that really stands out as like incredibly bad for me um you're also saying no new messages on youtube but they're showing up on screen well i'm getting i seem to be getting them now so uh all i had to do was exit the stream and come back in um but youtube streaming i guess <laughs> um yeah so i I, I don't think that it's a, a, a an exceptionally bad design, which is why I never even mentioned it or never talked about it in my, uh, you know, best and worst Pokemon of every generation series. But it it is a bit underwhelming. It's got some weird aspects to it. Um, uh, I don't think its eye works very well with the rest of the design. That's definitely part of it. Uh, I don't know if it's so much the design of the eye itself, but definitely the placement of the eye uh, is really awkward. Um, and the, the tail that is supposed to be like an exhaust pipe. Well, it's supposed to look like an exhaust pipe, but it's also supposed to be how heat more breathes in. Uh, that also just looks awkward. Oh, it's overall body shape. Uh, as a bipedal, uh, bipedal anteater, that's fine with me. I like its front claws, but, but yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of meh. Um, I don't really know what the what the stripes on it are supposed to be doing, and the like pipes going in and out of the front and the back. I think that looks awkward. So yeah, uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure how to fix everything because I think that it's a very shallow design. It's like an anteater with an exhaust pipe. If there is more to the design, I can't see it. So I'm trying to think and I haven't really been able to figure out yet what I can add or like what other layer of complexity I can put into this design uh, to make it more interesting. So to make the concept as a whole more interesting. Uh, just visually though, uh, it's an anteater and whenever you say anteater, 
my first thought is always the giant anteater, which is a South American species. I uh, actually have a photo of one here. Uh, this is from uh, Flickr user Artonk. Gotta give credit. So yeah, this photo was taken by uh, Flickr user Artonk. Uh, and this is what a giant anteater looks like. Uh, it is very large. It has a very large bushy tail that maybe you can't see quite so well in this in this photo. But it also has this very uh, iconic marking that goes from the chest to like the, down the sides. Um, and so I know that there's multiple species of anteaters, but anteater to me is this one. It's the giant anteater. Uh, and so I'm going to try to give heat more, uh, a bit more of a giant anteater spin with a large bushy tail that I'll still try to make it into an exhaust pipe in some way. Uh, the middle ground of Gen 5. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very middling Pokemon, exactly. I uh, just don't like how the details on the crotch are the same color as the skin. Yeah, yeah, well the whole piping thing I think is kind of awkward. Um, I feel like Heatmore has a lot of different individual elements that suggest multiple different themes, but that doesn't have anything that ties it all together. For sure, yeah. Maybe make it relate to fire ants. I'm not sure how that would... Like, I, how would you tie that in? Since it isn't a fire ant itself. It is a fire ant eater, I guess. Um, uh, maybe make it have a mouth that is specifically shaped to eat Durant. It just has a Durant-shaped opening on the mouth. <laughs> Uh, what about a theme around fumigation? Like insect insect exterminators. Hmm. The shiny does make the stripes kind of work. Yeah, in, in the shiny, uh, everything is darker, but the stripes are like a bright red, and that makes it... Um, it it's almost like they're glowing. I don't think that was... I, I don't think the stripes are supposed to actually be glowing, but that's what it looks like in the shiny. Uh, and I did... Uh, in, in my sketches that are kind of buried here, but it's okay because they weren't very extensive anyway. Uh, I did think about, uh, you know, using that stripe element uh, as maybe like a glowing, you know, like a like a lava flow looking kind of thing. Not actually, actually lava flow, but, you know, it's a, something that would imply uh, energy flowing through its body because it's supposed to be making heat inside of its body, so... Um, it's an anteater meets volcano meets industrial revolution. I don't even know about volcano, but I, I guess that could be what the stripes are going for. Um, maybe change the colors. Yeah, colors are definitely going to be changed. Maybe not entirely, but de definitely adjusted. Um, I have an idea. What if it was on all fours and the stripes resemble car pattern so the whole exhaust pipe makes sense so it's like a racing stripe kind of thing i did consider putting it on all fours because i think all anteaters can stand on their hind legs but giant anteater you usually see it on all fours uh so i was kind of thinking of a pose that would be more like uh versatile in whether it's a bipedal or or quadrupedal so that's a possibility i don't know if racing car stripes would be the best way to go but we can try something like that uh what if there's a fire spewing out the tail end too i don't think it needs fire spewing out uh but because of the bushy tail of the giant anteater i am thinking of making the tail itself be fire shaped um just because it's like you know bushy kind of could kind of look like a flame uh, so that might accomplish the same thing anyway. Has the awesome Gen 1 style sprite video performed better today? Uh, I, I, well, I think it's it, it's still going. Like, it's still getting new views, which is great. Uh, and, you know, a few months ago... Yeah, by the way, uh, if you haven't seen it, I put out a new video yesterday uh, talking about how to make a Gen 1 style sprite, uh, where I also make a fake mon. So it's a... Uh, I create a fake mon and in the process also 
show off the techniques of, of pixel art for uh, Gen 1 Pokemon sprites. Um, and that video is performing poorly. It is still like number eight uh, of my last 10 videos, which isn't great. But I mean, being number eight of my last 10 videos is still better than being like number four of my first four videos of the year or something like that. Um, like it's, it, I have grown a lot and the first couple months of the year were really bad in terms of views. So, you know, it's got like 300 and something views now in, in less than a day or in just over a day now. Uh, it's okay. It's doing okay. I would love for more people to see it and I'm, uh, I'm going to try showing it to more people who I think might be interested in just like directly reaching out to them. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe make it look like a furnace. Uh, the design needs to be simpler, maybe. Uh, I'm no expert on design, but I'm a heat more space has little to no personality. It's red color doesn't capture the attention and there's no overall intention on its design. I think that's, I think that's right. I think that's fitting. Uh, I also thought that the stripes were to imply lava. Okay, yeah. I can, I can see that. Uh, I don't know that that, that, that that's very obvious but yeah i can see that um it would be a good idea to give uh other connection to durant uh the the video is awesome thank you gano uh should be part of an awesome series i'm hoping so uh planning i think six videos in the series but we'll see uh what about in the redesign you use shiny color just because uh the shiny looks better uh, here, I'll bring the shiny in. Uh, I don't think I would use entirely the shiny colors, but we can definitely use it as as another reference. I'll just grab a sprite of the shiny. Oh yeah, can you hear, can you hear the like clicking sound when I do this? I don't, I don't think it's getting captured. Shouldn't be getting captured because that would be annoying for you. Where's Charon? I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Heatmore looks like they wanted to make a dual fire steel type, but they changed their mind at the last minute. I don't know if I see a steel type so much in there, but... Is that, is that going to be big enough? Yeah, that's big enough. Okay. Yeah, so that, this is what the shiny looks like, um, and yeah, you do get more of that like glowing lava kind of look. Uh, I don't think I like the dark face, but the body colors are good. So anyway, we'll just keep that off there to the side. Okay, you don't hear it. Good. There, uh, there's definitely something inorganic about its design. Yeah, yeah, for sure. How does my channel have so little views? Well, I, I'm not the one that can answer that. <laughs> Bye, Indigo. Have fun working. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to start uh, drawing, just trying to figure out some... Uh, some body shapes. Oh, that's not that's not the brush I want. Yeah, so uh, cause I was trying to do something that would imply it more uh, being both quadrupedal and bipedal. So I'm just gonna 
Oh, I need uh, this. So I'm just going to try some um, some silhouettes. Actually, maybe the head should be more level with the rest of the body, since that's how antators are. And then, yeah, and then we'd have some kind of flame-shaped tail or something. Uh, but yeah, just this is just more to, to figure out like what poses would work. This is a bit too wide, I think. Uh, maybe, <clears throat> maybe something that's a little bit more on the standing side, but it still needs to imply that it's able to go on all fours. I was thinking of like a giant sloth kind of look a little bit because uh, I believe sloths and anteaters are related. And the giant sloth might have the, the, the body shape we need, but for some reason I kept forgetting and still haven't uh, to actually look up like giant sloth anatomy. This might also be too wide. But then it just also just kind of becomes actually like heat more. <laughs> the pipes look like fingers. They do a little bit. Yeah, they're kind of like, they have that, that flesh color. Um, Indigo's username is Kuru Pendant, yes. <laughs> uh, I think a tail similar to Simi Sears would work. Hmm, maybe. Uh, hello, Spa uh, Spockwee. Welcome to the stream. Uh, what if the tail was the most prominent part so it's the same size as the body? Maybe. Uh, maybe kind of Como it walks on all four legs but can be bipedal. Yeah, there's a few Pokemon that are like that. Uh, yeah, for that they need to have longer arms, which I guess could work. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I kind of like this. Very long arms. And then we'll give it a big, almost like, uh, almost like a Flareon kind of tail, maybe. It'll lose the exhaust pipe look. I'm, I'm, in, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Um, yeah, it'll lose the exhaust pipe look, but maybe that's okay. And then I definitely want to give it the like marking on the chest from the giant anteater. Um, and maybe this could 
like go in and become the flame of the tail. Something like this. Uh, your boy Wispy, hi. Uh, hi, Lee was just popping in for a sec while I'm getting ready for the day. If I can throw my two cents in, I always thought the heat more needed elements of a ground type since it's an anteater and they tend to dig. They do tend to dig because they eat ants and termites and stuff that live underground. Uh, I don't know if it needs elements of a ground type, but I mean, it does have the means to dig. It has those absolutely enormous claws. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how uh, how we would add ground type elements here. Uh, what is the big tail at the end? Uh, the big tail is a reference to the giant anteater. It has a species of, of anteater that has a very large uh, bushy tail. Maybe have it so you can see it's a tongue hanging out or something. Maybe emphasizing it's long tongue could work. Yeah, uh, and in, in official art, it looks like the tongue is supposed to just be fire, right? In, in the official art here. Like, it doesn't even connect. I, like, I think this fire coming out of it is supposed to be its tongue, but it doesn't even connect to the mouth. Uh, and Pokedex entries say that its tongue is uh, covered in fire. But maybe it can just have an actual tongue that is covered in fire, but we, we can make it more as a tongue than as just fire. Something like that. Uh, we were doing it a favor by making it not breathe through its behind. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, kind of looks like a cape. I guess for I guess in this study, I guess you, I can see it looking like a cape. Yeah. Maybe incorporating some sort of uh, magma pattern into its body. Well, I was thinking of making this this red part that I have on here be like glowy fire kind of pattern, uh, not actually like be bubbly in the way that my cargo is. But um, well, I guess more in the way of uh, Logston's fire type starter from uh, from his new Cascade Region video. <laughs> uh, if you've seen that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, when I looked up Giant Anteater, I noticed the front legs look like a panda, so it has... Uh, so what if its hands have a face pattern? But they're not actually faces. Here, here's the Giant Anteater. Um, like, they have, a, they have a dark spot on their leg, uh, on their front leg, that... Is that what you were talking about? Um, I'm not really sure what to do about the, like, thing on their arms. <laughs> I don't really know what it's supposed to be, even. Uh, the dex entries are a little conflicting. Some say its tongue is covered in flames, others say that it uses flames as a tongue. Yeah. Uh... I mean, poke dex entries are always unreliable. <laughs> the head of giant anteaters uh, is always really small. Uh, that would make it maybe make it look bigger. I think in general, Pokemon always have their their like heads be bigger compared to their, you know, whatever they are. Um, based on, oh, they are e equosts, equosts, what are those? Uh, 
Is that the correct spelling? Because nothing's coming up. Maybe the holes in the hands are like gas outputs on a stove. Maybe. Um, what did Bulbapedia say they were? Uh, air filter. Yeah, for just like taking in air. But yeah, like that, that doesn't really tell me very much. But, you know, if that's the case, if the, if the wrists are just supposed to be, like, a way of getting air in and out, um, it might be interesting to, rather than put a, you know, a whole thing, like, around the wrist, what if we, kind of like that scissor marking that you were talking about, that, that, uh, almost face looking thing on the wrist. Uh, what if it just has a grate on here? Kind of thing. That can serve both as a, as a sort of eye marking. It can serve as, a, you know, air intake or air exhaust. And it can be that, that dark patch. Um, I think we gotta give it ears. Um, just, just very simple ears, but make it. I think it'll help make it look a little bit more natural, and we can give it maybe even just its normal eye, but the eye needs to be like towards more towards the back of the head, um, or maybe we give it red eyes or something. I don't know. We can experiment with that. Uh, might be an air intake letting it bring oxygen into its body to burn for power. Like, I could see that, but then the Pokedex entries also talk about it breathing in through the tail, and the tail looks like an exhaust. Like, the whole thing is just kind of a mess. Uh, so maybe we reverse it? We make it as breathing, that it's actually bringing air in through, uh, the vents on its arm? Like, that's how air gets in, and that fuels the combustion in its body, and it actually breathes out through the tail, and, you know, maybe we'd e we even put a little bit of uh, smoke or something coming out the back. I don't know. This is going to sound dark, but what if it holds lava in its body so it's easier to digest Durant? Then it could be... Exhaust that release the smoke and fumes from its body. Well, it does. It is supposed to be like having like combustion happen inside of its body. Um, so, yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> Could also breathe in through one arm and out the other, maybe. We're going to d redesign Durant also since Heatmore is its predator. Uh, probably not. Uh, certainly not today. But. Uh, for for the time being, I'm basically just gonna leave. Uh, well, I'm not like it, I'm going to let viewers suggest, and I'm only going to be looking at comments and not through the chat because I like, you know, in a month when I'm trying to decide who I'm going to redesign next, I won't have the chat to to look through, and I'm definitely not going to go through like two three hours of chat to figure out what was suggested. But if you leave a comment on the video, you know that summarizes the stream and everything that comes out at the uh that, that'll come out next week you can leave your your durant suggestion there and then if there's a lot of people that are suggesting the same pokemon or you know at least two people which was the case for for today uh suggesting the same pokemon and it's pokemon that i can think of you know i can see this being better in some way uh then then we can tackle that but yeah Hello, Charon. Welcome, and and see you soon. <laughs> you can make the tail a literal flame. The heat in its body expels itself through the back 
and in the form of the Inferno covering its rear. Hmm, a lit an actual flame. I don't know if I don't know if that'll like visually look good, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Where, where's my eraser? Oh, I see. I'm on. I'm on pencil mode on the eraser from when I was doing pixel art before. There you go. I mean, this could work. Uh, oh. Why is this still going everywhere? was too careless with my drawing and now I keep apparently not closing all the loops that I need to close in order to just fill this in I just need to fill it in how is this not a closed loop there you go I thought I had contiguous on already okay and I checked it <laughs> I'm just I was being stupid I guess But yeah, uh, something like this. It could work. Um, literal fire tail or just fur tail that looks like fire. Certainly the literal fire tail will look more threatening. Tail flames are very overdone, that is true. Uh, or just like having flames on the body as a as a way to indicate that this is a fire type Pokemon. That is that is quite common, yeah. Uh personally like normal heat more. Uh well, then your opinion is even more valuable here because I want to know what you like about normal heat more so that we can try to preserve that if we can. Uh, I really like the idea of big fluffy tail. I think that makes a nice juxtaposition of if the tail is a literal flame, still fluffy, but not. Yeah, I see that. Uh, I don't think the tail flame, because I don't think every fire type needs to have some part of its body be literally on fire. I agree with that. What if the tail comes out from a type of pipe, giving more of the idea of releasing excessive heat? Uh, I don't think that would quite work with the inspiration of the giant anteater. Because the big fluffy tail is pretty continuous with the, the rest of the body, so. I think majority is is on the side of 
fire uh, of tail that just looks like fire as opposed to literal fire. Uh, I think the long fluffy tail of the anteater is too iconic to remove. Without the tail flame, it looks uh, more like a tapir than an anteater. Yeah. Are we making a locomotive heat more? No, Felix. We, we are making an anteater. Uh, if we made a locomotive, that would be more like a, something in the Carcoal family. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this to start. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that, that needs to be added to it. So it's got the grate on the arms, it's got the big hands with giant claws, big fluffy fire-like tail, it's got the marking that goes from the chest to the tail. Team Fluffy Tail, all right. <laughs> So I'm seeing a lot of Team Fluffy Tail. Uh, are you the one drawing it? You were, which one do I like? Well, and, and I do normally go for which one I like best, but if the um, if the chat has has a stronger opinion than I do, or is more unified in their opinion than than I am, I go with that. Uh, but yeah, I'm inclined to go with. Fluffy tail. How about fluffy tail that is lit on fire randomly? No, I think it's got to be one or the other. Either the whole thing is fire, uh, or it's just fur that is shaped to look like fire, kind of like uh, Flareon. And it is going to be glowy too, right? Because, uh, or at least that's how I'm picturing it. Um, something like... I take this and just gonna, just gonna take this orange. Um, I don't know exactly how it would be, how it would look on the tail itself. Um, what kinds of glowy fire patterns would would work here, but. I don't know. Something like that. Team Literal Fire, Team Fluffy Tail, Fluffy Gang. I think we're, I think it's gonna be Fluffy Tail. Uh, no, I, it's a good it's a good idea. Uh, like I think visually it looks good. It, it actually looks better than I was expecting it to. <clears throat> but. Yeah, I think Fluffy Tail is more unique and uh, sticks more with what I had in mind. Uh, I like it if making it a long boy, we need more long Pokemon. I can maybe make it make the body and even the tail uh, a little bit proportionately a little bit longer. Uh, I wanted to start making fake mon. Maybe this would help me. Yeah, I will. I always want to encourage people to uh, pursue their own art as well. And if you make something, either you know whether it's a redesign of, of something of something that I'm also working on or a redesign of my redesign, that's fine too. Um, I would like to see it. You should send it to me on on uh, Twitter or whatever else you have. All right. This isn't going to be the pose I'm going to draw it in, though. <clears throat> so uh, maybe it's time I start figuring that out. If 
figuring out the actual pose. Uh, Fizzer, you're making a fake mud as you watch this. That's awesome. What kind of fake mud are you doing? Making regional forms is a good start. Yes, that that too. Uh, because you have a good basis. You, know, you already know... You know, you, you already have a solid design to, to start with and you just have to figure out how you're going to change it. So that's definitely a good way to start making fake mud. And what color is the rest of the body going to be? You know... I wasn't planning on making it a dark body. Not this dark, but maybe it works. Uh, but probably we'll just have to play around with it once uh, once I've figured out the you know the, the, the pose of the drawing and everything. Then we can um, look at more details like like color and how the eye is going to look and all that. Uh, maybe you could add something on the body, uh, like veins with fire lava, something that more like the original design. Yeah, maybe some, maybe put some more of those in there. Uh, the orange pattern on the tail could be a throwback to heat more's mustard yellow pattern. Maybe. I'm making a regional bird based on a crested grebe. Cool. How about a mid digging pose? Look at look at looking for Durant in the dirt. Hmm. Maybe. Um, I had a very specific pose in mind that I don't know how well it'll work, but I wanted to try it. Uh, with it kind of facing forward. Uh, This is more what I was talking about, like it being kind of like a giant sloth. Uh, what phase are we in, Charon? We are currently in the in the figure out the pose phase. <laughs> What do I not like and want to change about Hemor? Uh, well, I can. We can try to go over that uh, quickly again because we we talked about that already. But um, it's just, it just it's not very interesting. It has a lot of uh, kind of awkward parts to it, like the 
uh, the tail that looks like an exhaust pipe, the colors, the placement of the eye on the head, um, the the like pipes, right? Yeah, the pipes that the flesh colored pipes, those are it's just there's just a lot of awkward stuff um, that could be better. Uh, dark maybe looks too sinister for non shiny. Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. <laughs> uh, recently made a regional ice type meowth and Persian, partially based on Russian blue cats and lynxes. That sounds cool. Uh, am I Brazilian? Yes, I am originally Brazilian. I live in Canada now, but yes, I was born and raised in Rio. We'd sat on four legs, but able to stand on two. Yep, correct. <laughs> uh, I was having the same thought, but uh, maybe it could be done well. Oh, the digging thing, yeah. I can imagine heat more digging uh, its hands into the floor to tap into the Earth's energy or whatever and go into full furnace mode. I mean, if it takes in air through the vents on its arms, uh, then maybe it can also just take in like hydrothermal energy or something to to give it extra power or something like that. Please keep the fire tongue. Uh, I'm gonna make it more of a tongue tongue, but I will put fire on it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, obrigado, Luiz. <risos> é, tô, tô achando ótimo a quantidade de brasileiro que tá aparecendo por aqui ultimamente. Uh, most of my viewers are not Brazilian. Most of my viewers are, you know, according to analytics, most of my, my viewers are either American or British. Um, but, yeah, it's been nice having a lot of uh, people show up that, that speak Portuguese and stuff, so uh, it's been really cool. Uh, I love your redesign of cast form. Uh, gave me inspiration to make it an evolution. Cool. Uh, Kyle O'Connell, you're, you're British. Yeah, there's also, uh, or sorry, you're Irish. I misread that. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, there's also a lot of people that, uh, that are Irish. Um, I think it's a lot of the influence from like Breakkeeper Toby, so because I, I think most of his audience is like British Irish, um, obviously American as well, just because that's the the biggest um, the the biggest crowd, the biggest audience period uh, on YouTube. Um, so because a lot of my audience came from Toby. Um, I think we have a lot of overlap in the end. Nice to see that people are from all over the the globe. Uh, what do you guys think about this pose? Um, should I try something else? Uh, should I just try to improve this one? I actually quite like it. I like that it's. I like how dynamic it looks. I think that it looks it still looks like it could be um in you know but i either bipedal or uh, quadruped uh another option i guess would be to just basically take this but rather than have it facing the other way um something like that to give it to make it more of a actual like fighting pose 
You like it? Night pose is good. Okay. Uh, I think I would scrap pipe tails completely. Do something more natural with the tail instead. Have pipe ends being somewhere along its back with the flames with flames coming out. But yeah, that's definitely not going to happen, Charon. <laughs> I don't think we're using pipes at all. Uh, yeah, different approach. Uh, Oh, you're talking about cast from there. Um, the pose is pretty sick. I just fear it's a right arm will get in the way. I don't know. We'll play around with it. Uh, like, I drew all of this on one layer, but I'll, as usual, I'll, like, draw all the parts on different layers so I can position them um, more more clearly. But no, I don't, I don't think that, that, that it's going to get in the way of showing off the design of the main body maybe put a durant on the tip of the tongue how big is durant compared to hate more because like he, he, durant aren't that small <laughs> that's a nice action pose uh the only thing i'm not sure about is the profile of the face uh maybe more direct or like three quarters turn pose might look nicer yeah, maybe. What if it's uh, upper arms were going more horizontal to the sides? Here, I, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna read, like, copy this pose onto a uh, onto a bunch of separate layers, and I can play around with that. Because at the moment, like, this isn't perfect. I know that this pose isn't perfect as it is. Uh, it's just, just a. Uh, Figure sketch, basically. I should actually do that on yet another layer. Uh, if we're making, if we're redesigning heat more entirely, there's uh, not really anything that says we can't make it big enough to hold a normal Durant in its tongue. I suppose so, but I think that, like, if we're keeping Durant at its regular, at its actual size, 
and then uh, just blowing up the the heat more. Uh, I, I think that might make the heat more enormous. <laughs> so uh, it might involve uh, retconning um, the, the, the Durant's size as well. <laughs> Durant is one foot heat more is 407. Yeah. Uh definitely <laughs> definitely not big enough to just hold on its tongue unless we make it like way bigger. I don't think we need to incorporate Durant itself into the design, but I don't know. Uh, when it comes to designing Pokemon, I never know what to do with the eyes. Uh, there, well, there's a variety of things you could do with the eyes. Eyes nowadays especially have been very, very varied, so it's uh, uh, quite an open field. Uh, hey, Do, hello. Uh, faces can be difficult to figure out, yes. Yeah, that that's true. And, and hey, Do, reminding everyone to leave like, thank you for that. <laughs> This heat more is very much more like a an anteater, absolutely, and that was that, that's the whole the point. Uh, let's do that. Oh, you know what? I can actually move both of these together. Then I can move these two together. I like it looking up, um, but I'm going to try just, uh, just one where it's looking where it's a little bit more like a three quarters kind of view rather than full profile although the tongue bite might be a little bit harder to accomplish I missed actually drawing the tongue on this one. <laughs> Heatmore is only 1.4 meters, it's way too small. Well, it's about, that seems like uh, maybe a little bit smaller, but, but a decent size for a, for an anteater. <laughs> maybe a little bit smaller than a giant anteater. I don't know what size that is, uh, including the tail. No, 1.4? 1.4 is bigger than a giant anteater. Yeah, I think so. Maybe not including the tail, but... I think even if a giant anteater was standing on its hind legs, it would be bigger. Uh, I like the idea of making it huge. Uh, it, it is based on the giant anteater at all, at all, after all. That's true. Just make it actually giant. <laughs> actual giant, actual anteater. <laughs> Four foot body, ten foot tongue. 
My personal head cannon was always that Joltik and Durant are relatively similar in size, but yeah, incorporating Durant in a uh, Mantine-esque manner may be a bit over the top. Like, I think it would look good, but it would pro but yeah, it would be a bit of a retcon on the, on the uh, Durant size as well. Uh, is its armor rock? Uh, no, it doesn't really have armor. Um... Uh, giant Anteater is 1.8 to 2.2. Okay. Standing? Like, because when they're on all fours, maybe, well, it, it always depends on how you're measuring, right? But, like, height on all fours? Definitely not that much. Length? Maybe. Yeah. From from tail to head. Okay, yeah. Tail to head, yes. I could redesign Durant and make it really tiny. It probably, like, should be really tiny. It probably should be smaller. But, yeah. Uh, what head position do you guys like? I'm digging more of the, the, the looking up position, but... Maybe if I flip this... Yeah. Yeah, this this looks okay. I'm just gonna just gotta give it some more space. Yeah. I think it's either it is looking up and back or it's just in a less dynamic pose just looking forward. Um, this one doesn't I don't know, it's just kind of meh. <laughs> this one's more dynamic. This one's, uh, like, I guess this one looks more like what you'd see in actual official art of Pokemon. Looking down looks weird, okay, looking up, looking up. Uh, after Black and White, I was really hoping we would see Unova's sister region, something like Johto, with it evolving a ton of Gen 5 Pokemon particularly giving heat more an evolution similar to how Scyther evolved into Pinsir, or evolved, evolved without Pinsir. Um, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I always, I always want to see more evolutions of existing Pokemon. Um, looking up. Okay. Everyone seems to be down for the looking up position. Um, anything stand out to you as just like awkward proportions or anything like that? I, like to me, it's looking pretty solid for now. Obviously, things tend to come up later uh, as, as we develop it. But if anything stands out to you now, let me know. Did someone say rock? Because what if Heatmore was originally a rock type that hunted bug type Durant, and Durant evolved the steel type to defend itself, but Heatmore became a rock fire type in response? Hmm. I mean, it isn't a rock type anymore, but I guess it wouldn't have needed that anymore. <laughs> the right arm looks a little off. No, no, not... Yeah, there you go. I, I'm seeing, just to be clear, I'm seeing the arm as more like facing forward, so there's a bit of foreshortening going on there. Uh, that way we can see the... We'd be able to see the vent pretty well on here, because there's a design on the side of the arm, right, that we're going to put here and you know claws going something like that 
and then this one I don't know I don't, I don't know where the claws would go on this one uh, maybe vent vent and, and claws going this way but Uh, what would those of you who are saying that it uh, um, that the pose of the arms is looking awkward? Um, what what would you suggest? Like um, just because I don't know exactly what you're finding awkward. So if you can give me a little bit more detail on that, I can figure out if it's something that I need to fix or that I'm just like, I'm picturing it out one way uh, and it's not coming through quite as much. So uh, yeah. Kenneth, you're happy that Durant is in Sword and Shield because it's your third favorite Pokemon. What, I, like, I, what do you like about it? Because I, I don't, I don't know uh, if I've ever heard of someone t saying that Durant is their favorite Pokemon. I mean, not obviously like Durant. Almost every Pokemon is someone's favorite Pokemon, but yeah, I haven't heard a lot of praise for Durant. Um. I find it pretty average. So yeah, uh, what do you like about it? Both arms pointing away from the head feels a bit off. Like, you, you think one of the arms should be pointing backwards? What about a bigger head? Uh, yeah, we can do a bigger head. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, maybe it's just me, but they seem to be very big, heavy paws, and it would be hard to hold them facing up. I mean, well, sure, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's true of regular heat more as well, right? Look at those, look at those scrawny little arms. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, I guess, just a holdover from the original, but... It looks like it's pushing a very stinky big thing. Well, I was picturing it like, not pushing, but like, if there was a, if there was a Durant Hill here, <laughs> you know, like that, that, that's more or less what I was picturing, or if there's a, a tree with, Durant climbing up it, you know, whatever. And it's gotta be using those claws, using those claws for digging. Yeah. <laughs> it's Pokemon. We can have a levitating, air-breathing fish who says our anteater can't stand up for at least a bit. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe both arms held outward in more powerful pose. Suppose that's 
similar to how people go in there shrugging. Like this? Like a more, a more bent. Oops. Should have made sure that stayed in place. This could work with the both of the claws facing up. In which case, I think Oh, is this layer nothing? Okay, that layer is nothing. <laughs> yeah, with the arms up, I think maybe the head needs to be bigger, but this works. I'm, I'm okay with this. Clawing position. Uh, I do feel like heat more should be partially quadrupedal when it isn't battling both the giant hand eater and ground sloth. Mainly walk on all fours. Yeah, and yeah, absolutely, and that that is part of the concept, which I I think maybe works a little bit better, or like is a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like this looks more like something that would, like, then bend down and and be able, and walk on all fours than this one. But if you guys think that this one looks more natural, I'm happy to go with it. Um, it's it's not a very strong opinion. What if it's a uh, resting paw on the floor? Um. You know, I was I, I thought about that when I was doing some sketches yesterday, and I just think that it's gonna hide too much. It's gonna it basically it's gonna end up looking like it's just on all fours, but holding one paw up. Um, yeah. I'm getting heavy Typhlosion vibes from this pose, like a docile creature being threatened rather than a uh, hunting gatherer. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, anteaters are docile creatures. You just don't want to... You just don't want to uh, startle them because they do have large claws for digging, but that can also be used for defending themselves. Um, but yeah, no. The, That seems accurate to me. I don't think Gorbis counts as a dolphin Pokemon because it's more of a deep sea fish a, or a deep sea eel. I'm not sure, but I don't think it's even meant to be a dolphin Pokemon. Arms pointing downward. Uh, hang on, here. I'm going to make various copies of this sketch so we can have all of the different poses, uh, which does mean I have to adjust this one again. Oh, I see.
So arms pointing downward. Let's try that. Maybe that one arm downward, but this one up. I'm liking this one. I'm liking this one. Could I try to sketch the claws? Uh, I, I could, but the thing is that if I sketch the claws, uh, the like perspective of the front arm is going to be less um, versatile. So like if I just rotate it, it's going to look wrong. Whereas right now, um, just rotating it works just fine. <laughs> Maybe have one of the arms doing a slash. Pokemon official art doesn't usually have that kind of like dynamic, um, like attacking pose. So I don't think I don't know if that would work. What if it's bent down slightly so it looks like it does walk on all fours, but it's just going up with its head in the air like it's sniffing? I mean, that's what I was in intending with basically all of these poses, but I can try to move all of these layers. Oh, not the tail. Yeah. Oh, and I missed the arm. I uh, should watch it subjectively. They did that exact design. Oh, uh, for the for the water psychic dolphin. Yeah. Um, subjectively is pretty good. Um, th there's a lot of other stuff that I really like. There's a lot of other stuff that I that I don't like. But uh, it's a, it's a good channel to watch for sure. Uh, we can put some tufts on on the arm for sure, uh, but I like if there's if it's gonna have the the kind of vent that we were talking about. Uh, I don't think it can be totally furry, but it it can be a little bit fluffy for sure.
I'm liking this one the most, I think. This a little bit more bent over version maybe is fine too. Okay, um, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm happy with the way this is looking. So, and I, yeah, I, I'm not, I, I, yeah, the more like bent over one, eh, it's not doing it for me. Even if I adjust the placement of this shoulder. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, just not doing it for me. Uh, almost as if the tail fur reaches up its back and around the shoulders. Well, that's exactly what we're, <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. If you look at uh, that first sketch, oh great, uh, uh, not this one, this one. Yeah, the tail fur goes up around the shoulders for sure. But this is the pose I'm going to go with. So now, oh come on. So now I will draw more a more complete version of this, uh, one that isn't just floating parts. <laughs> uh, I'll still draw a lot of it on different layers, though, so that we can move things around uh, as necessary. if the proportions don't look great. Uh, Like how, I never like how the original heat more claws were combined into one huge claw. Well, they do have separation between them. Uh, we just don't usually see it, uh, you know, spreading its fingers. But it doesn't really need to, if uh, if really the only use of its claws is to dig up Durant.
You like that he's claws. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm thinking there can maybe be a, a belly pattern of some kind, uh, where the, where the tail reaches up around. Something that would uh, essentially replace, I guess, the like, the, the the pattern made by the pipes in the original. I don't know. I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, Alrighty, Libra Simco, it's been fun, but I gotta bounce. Good luck with the rest of the time. Glad it. Thank you, uh, Wispy. Uh, yeah, you, you'll be able to see the the finished design uh, on on Friday. And thank you for your help. Okay, I think I put all the grates in the same orientation. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we've uh, figured out uh, we've, we figured out the basic design uh, and we figured out the pose. Uh, so now we're just putting the two together and then we'll see if, they, if anything needs to be adjusted um, or anything like that. Uh, drawing it now in, in a little bit more detail.
you know what because i'm using a thick brush for now and it'll be significantly thinner than this when i do the, the actual outlines i'm just gonna keep it like that for now and then i just need to figure out how exactly this is gonna uh have fire on it I don't know, maybe something like that. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. Something isn't quite right. that helps and then obviously I'll have to adjust the, the the chest pattern as well You think the ears look a bit human, Sea Dragon? I think they look pretty, uh, pretty anteater-like. Um, they're just simple round ears. But maybe it's the placement uh, more than the shape? Face looks empty. Uh, we can adjust, like we can change the design of the eyes, and uh, but yeah, uh, what else would you put on there? Uh, we talked about making the the arms fluffy. Uh, I think if they're fluffy, it'll have to be. Just a few, like, tufts of fur here. Uh, which on this arm. Yeah, could be. Something like that. Uh, 
I don't know if that works though. Uh, maybe it might work better without the fluff. Looking at Anteaters as reference, the ears look fine. Yeah, they look pretty Anteater like uh, to me, I think. Maybe add some nose holes. Uh, where do Anteaters even have their nose? Let's have a look. Let's see if this Anteater reference shows. Oh, yeah, the nose is like right at the tip, I think. It just digs the nose right in along with the, along with the mouth. Um, so I don't know if that's necessary, but it'll that that would just be like here. I'd say just make the front paws bigger, but I'm not sure if that's part of the design that needs to be emphasized. Yeah. Hmm. You know, maybe I do need to pull the whole thing, like the whole like top half. Not the whole thing, but the top half. Forward a bit. Yeah, I think that already looks better. I suppose I could merge the pattern that's on the... Uh, that's on the chest and that's on the belly into just like one thing. Maybe move the eyes further forward on the nose like the original. No, I think that's going to look real weird. I'd like that's one of the things that I don't like about the original. So I, I don't I wouldn't really want to do that. It is getting better though, I think. You just need to make it a little fatter or something. <laughs> I, I do think that it's just that, that the adjustments are going in the right direction. Uh, but yeah, maybe it does need, maybe the paws do need to be bigger. Uh oh. Did I just accidentally select too much or? Okay, I just can't seem to not select that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's what I want.
The neck looks very thin right now. It does look very thin, but I think it looks more natural now than it did before. Uh... If you could redesign one evolution or EV itself, what would it be? I mean, I am going to redesign all of the three from Gen 1, and I, I think I have good ideas for all of those. Um... I think, yeah, Leafeon is the one I like the least, so that's probably the one I would want to redesign the most. What if it walks on its knuckles like, uh, like anteaters do, and we put more emphasis on the tongue? Um, I mean, we can put more emphasis on the tongue. We can make the tongue bigger or something like that. Uh, relative to the head, that's fine. Um, and the idea is that it th that it walks on all fours and just gets up to to, to, to battle or, or something like that. Um, but uh, I think, like, for it to walk actually walk on its knuckles, we'd have to draw the claws pointing backwards, and I don't think that'll look good. I think we can just say that, you know, that it folds its claws backwards and walks that way um, without actually drawing it that way, because I don't think it'll look right. Oh, did I? Oh, I did draw all of that in one layer. Okay. Let's cut this out. And I think I drew the whole face, yes, including the tongue all on one layer. So I'll cut that out so I can adjust it separately as well. So that we, if we want to make this bigger. We can, uh, that's not, pro not a problem. The Gen 2 design of Leafeon is horrible. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I just don't think that it transitions from, like, animal to, to plant super well. It just feels more like uh, an, an Eevee or, or, you know, an, an Eevee evolution with just plants, like, tacked onto it. But yeah. Yeah, and Leafeon, Leafeon is the one I like the least, for sure. But like, Espeon, Umbreon, those could be redesigned as well. Um, like if, even Umbreon, like I think it's really good, but it is also very simple. And so if, uh, if there was an Umbreon that was like released nowadays, I think it would have a much more complex design. Definitely Espeon would have had a more complex design. You know, it would have some kind of pattern on it or something. It would have some kind of color variation. Um, if you look at Glaceon, for example, Glaceon or Sylveon, like the, their designs are pretty complex. So yeah, I think those are, they, they, they could all be redesigned. <laughs> How's that? Uh, I think I need to adjust the, the claws a little bit on this hand. I, they probably just need to be a little bit bigger. Oh, I need to 
What layer is this? There it is. I'm still not sure about the, the pattern on the belly. Uh, or about the fur on the arms. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. Uh, the holes on the paws are vents. It's a, just a different take on what original Heatmore had, because it had like the exhaust or vent or something <laughs> um, that just kind of went around it uh, around the wrist um, so that's it's uh, it's supposed to be a little bit like um, because a giant hand eater has like a patch of dark on its arm, uh, so that's what that's supposed to be referencing. Uh, and someone also suggested that they look like uh, like a face, almost. Like uh, the kind of thing that Scizor has, for example. Did Heatmore gain weight in the past 10 minutes? Yes, it did. It, 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 it indeed, it did. Uh, just trying to make it look more natural. Uh, there was... It just wasn't quite looking uh, totally natural. This one needs to be bigger. We made him chunkier to survive the winter. That's right. Uh, I guess that I, ha I get that it has to have something, but how does it having vents relate with the overall new concept? What does it do with them? Uh, I mean, the overall new concept is just that it, it is it was basically the same as the old concept, except instead of it looking like pipes, uh, the heat that it makes inside of its body uh, is expressed through the fur, the glowing fire-like fur of the tail that like, that goes from the chest to the tail. Um, and so it just, the, the concept of the original is a little bit confusing because the tail looks like an exhaust pipe. So you'd expect that's where the fire, the, where, that's where the, the air goes out and the stuff on the arms, uh, the like vent-like wrist thing is, uh, how the air would go in so it would be taking air in through the arms heating it up you know uh internally and then expelling it out the tail um except of course we're told that it breathes in through the tail so it would be like the opposite of that which is weird um but yeah it's basically just that same concept except uh visually different I keep thinking that this, this arm is just not in the right place. I don't know where it needs to be for it to look right. <laughs>
Because it shouldn't be so far out that it just, like... Like, it shouldn't be here. And, like, this almost does look natural, except... Then it would be like the shoulder's, like, too far back. Here, it just looks like the shoulder's too far forward, so... Yeah. Uh, going to watch one of your videos now. I'll see you some other time. All right, thank you, Spockwee. Nice to have you here. I hope you enjoy whatever my other, whichever of my other videos you're gonna watch. <laughs> uh, the OG design was a mess, uh, and I liked what he's doing here. But I would uh, like if there was a connection with anything of the new things. I mean that that is the connection. Like, I, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, we can maybe put in a couple extra of the, like, fiery-looking bits uh, that would be coming up from from the tail around the shoulders. Um, there could maybe be more, more of that somewhere, but... What I'm not quite getting is the, like, position of the arm. <laughs> that just... Whatever I do, whenever I change it, it is like looks better until it doesn't, and then it looks and then it looks worse. So I don't know. You think the face looks too Gen 1-ish, Kyle? What, what would you do with it? What would you add to it? Tiny Fireball thinks the design is perfect as it is right now. Uh, well, it still needs the, the thing on the chest, which doesn't have to be exactly like this, but it, it, it's going to have something on the chest for sure. Um, because that's an important part of the uh, giant anteater that we're using as a reference. Um, not that one, not that one, this one.
Maybe that works better. Antietas just don't have cool faces. That is also true. I mean, the cool part of their face is that it's long and pointy and has a giant tongue. <laughs> uh, some shape of the point of the nose, maybe, or at the back of the neck. Ah, uh, the back of the neck could have something. Uh, and like we could do something with the top of the of the head we can do something with the face itself um, or or the eye itself uh, I don't know give it give it an extra ring around the eye or something. Not, not that. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't look right. Uh, and here, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna transfer the eye onto a different layer so I can change it independently. Cause like I, I could give it some different kind of eye, right? But then I think it would look not enough, like, heat more anymore for, like, you know, one of these more cutesy eyes is cute, is great, but, but it's, it's like, heat more isn't cute. And, and I don't think it should be cute. So I kind of like the kind of unimpressed looking face. Maybe this one works? Angry anime eyes. Cutesy eyes are cursed on heat more. Yeah. Uh, give the tip of the snout a pattern and make it black so that it looks burnt. Oh, that would be interesting. Um, just, yeah. Yeah, like it could just, it, it could just have something here that, and, and that part is a little bit darker than the rest of it. That's fine. Well, what do you guys think of the fur on the arms? Um, I don't think it really adds anything and might be better without it. But if you, if you guys like it, I'm happy to keep it. Now it just looks tired. What if the eyes were like Rillaboom? Gonna have to look up Rillaboom's eyes. Hmm. I don't. I don't think it'll work very well, but I'll try it. Kind of looks like it's wearing a mask. Quarantine month. Well, it's tired. It's wearing a mask. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Okay. 
I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one because it's just not working at all. Uh, this is more like the original. This one is just a little bit fancied up. This is the, the like Rillaboom kind. Uh, it's okay. It, it's not my favorite. For your 151 redesign challenge when you do shelter and cloister, which we already did. <laughs> uh, it's just making cloister to where it keeps the cool unique traits it has as a shelter and then and tongue, is, and tongue and eyes are seen. Um, yeah, we've already done uh, up to cloister. Uh, I just haven't... Uh, yeah, if you look on our Tumblr, should be there. Um... I just haven't like covered it in a in a video. The live stream of where we did it, that one should that should be available for you to watch if you want to. Uh, I actually can't remember who we're doing next. What com what comes after Onyx? Oh, Drowsy and Hypno. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, if it didn't have those Popeye arms, fur could look good. Yeah, but the, the Popeye arms are just, like, I think part of hate more. That's the way I see it anyway. Maybe some flame pattern or just fur separating the head from the torso. I mean, the, the pattern on the chest isn't enough. You know, the Rillaboom eyes actually work pretty all right. I, I still think I look like this one best, but. Is there anything on here that we can use? I like the dark muzzle. The, the dark muzzle works really well because then it looks both burnt and uh, like it's dirty, like this one. Um, we could maybe put just a little bit on on the like forehead because this one seems to have a speck of some kind, like a, just a small patch of white. We could put that on it on Hatemore's forehead. Won't really do anything, but it, it just, it's besides like break up the Monotony, I guess, of the face. Yeah. Like the you like the first eyes best. It doesn't look sleep deprived. Uh, maybe some flame pattern or just fur separating the head from the torso. Oh, I already read that one. <laughs> Uh, what about a pattern that's like an eyebrow? Oh, not, yeah, not that, just that. Uh, I, we could put like a spot like here. That isn't exactly an eyebrow, but it's kind of like the placement of an eyebrow. Oh, 
bushy eyebrows? I don't know. That actually, that actually looks pretty all right. What do you guys think? Uh, give it just black dots with tiny spots as eyes, like a real anteater. Uh, mm, I can try that too, but I, I don't think that would work. Just like solid black eyes, I don't think that would work. But I, I can try it. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I'm a fan of bushy eyebrows. Eyebrows make the face more interesting. Tiny fireball says no, please. Uh, yeah, I, I think the bushy eyebrows actually work, um, but here, I will try the, like, almost nothing kind of eyes. Oh, not, not the face. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't look right. Maybe it would look right in combination with bushy eyebrows, but... I, I, this is the this is the combination that I like the most, so far, at least. <laughs> uh, but like, I'd be happy to just say, okay, that's it, and we'll go with it. The bushy brow and eye bags make it look very old. It does make it look very old. Uh, the pipe tail of the original heat more was meant to create uh, a real life anteater's bushy tail out of smoke. It was, I mean, if that was what it was meant to, like, they never actually did that. <laughs> that I've ever seen. <laughs> Maybe vents on the legs or a vent or grill pattern along the collar uh, to give the appearance of internal fire. I can, I can put, try something on the legs, maybe, yeah.
Uh, it's a fire type, it would lose the high brows after two paddles anyway. Tired eyes with the dot eyebrows looks good. I don't know if it needs it, but it does uh, help to tie it in together a little bit, I guess. I'm going to make it a little bit flatter, though. So that it looks more like it's actually on the side. It needs two pipes going over its shoulder with flames coming out. Definitely not. Is there any particular reason it has less digits on its back legs than the front legs? Uh, well, in my case, it's just because that's what Heatmore has. Uh, but in the case of Heatmore, I don't know. I don't know if uh, do anteaters have a different number of digits? I, I don't know that. I think I'm gonna go with this this set of eyes or like this eye design just because I like it. <laughs> uh, it works for me. Yeah, I, I like this. So I'm gonna go with it. So now I'm just going to do Might as well just go straight into the final line work. And then we'll figure out the the uh, colors from there. Oh, although I am going to... I'm, I'm not going to put the fur on the arms. It's, it's really just not doing it for me. I think the number of digits is Pokemon thing. I'm pretty sure Electivire has three, has five fingers but two toes. Well, yeah. Well, Pokemon is all over the place for sure. Uh, real Anteaters have five digits on both front and back limbs. All right. Hello, Hafa. Welcome. You're you're just in time to see what it looks like uh, finalized, basically, because I'm happy with this, um, and I don't think anyone has any major objections so uh it's time to start the final line work maybe the toe claws could look more like the finger claws they can stay the same size but have the same appearance as the finger claws yeah maybe uh I don't have any I don't have any strong feelings about the claws in general, but certainly not the back foot claws.
Uh, Gen 1 design principle only ectotherms had external flames. Is the redesign sale meant to be like Flareon's? Uh, d d a little bit, yeah. But, I mean, aren't all fire types ectotherms? Uh, what if its tail had curls like Simi Seer and the eyebrows like Darmaraka tie it all in? Um, the eyebrows like Darumaka. I think I know enough what Simi Seer's tail looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I think the curls, uh, in both cases, I think the curls are, are just too cutesy. I think it needs to be more of a pointy fur kind of thing. Am I using a special kind of rub brush? I'm using a brush that I uh, figured out, just developed, however you want to put it. Uh, to look like the the Tsugimori line work. To, to look like pen on paper, uh, ink pen on paper. Um, I think nowadays the, the, the brush that they use is actually uh, thinner and smoother than this, but... I'm satisfied with the way it turns out for the most part, so. I haven't felt the need to update, to change my brushes. Hopefully you can't hear too much of that vacuum cleaner out in the hall of the building. <laughs> At least I think that's where the sound is coming from. Would you mind if I might try to make it a redesign? No, absolutely. Go for it. Please, be my guest.
I love it when people do that. Uh, whether it's a redesign of that's entirely their own, or even if it's a redesign of my redesign. <laughs> or just a competing uh, design, that's fine too, yeah. Mouse or drawing tablet? Drawing tablet. A very old one at this point, but st still works. <laughs> uh, not one that has uh, that has a screen on it. Ah, come on, why can't seem to get this curve to look right. Good enough. <laughs> saved in a while. Better do that, right? <laughs> Welcome back, Crew Pendant, aka Indigo. This is what it looks like. 
Uh, you missed a lot. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with how it's turning out. Thinking back to the whole uh, fire for a tongue versus a tongue on fire thing, uh, I think that the latter makes much more sense. Fire can't really pick things up, so it would be really ineffective as a tongue. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the song that's playing reminds you of the Kalos Gym Leader theme. I guess I just don't remember that Gym Leader theme well enough. Oh yeah, right. Oops. Actually, yeah, most of that is just a pattern, so I'm actually going to draw that separately because I might not uh, keep those lines in the final. I'll have to draw them so that I can uh, use them as, as references when I color, but... Carlos gym theme is awesome. I hate it. <laughs> oh, half a saying that Charon has bad taste. Oh. Now, now I have to see where this is going. must have some heat more in the chat because that was quite the burn. <laughs> Can we have the Kalos gym theme playing for the fight? <laughs> if it's for us to fight, it must be on the mud wearing tight-fitting outfits. 
So you want to do some mud wrestling. I'm having a hard time picturing Charon mud wrestling. And I'm the one with bad taste, says Charon. <laughs> Mud wrestling is classic, very entertaining, or we can thumb fight. I keep like almost getting it. Good enough. Uh, how about we write essays on a Pokemon topic picked by Umbreon Libris? Uh, yes. 
<laughs> I want to keep a distance from anything that can remind me of college. Uh, I don't. Uh, yeah, but that's a good. That's a good idea, though. Pokemon essays. I like that. And whatever Charon writes, uh, I get to to run it against like all comments that Charon has has left on my channel in the past, because Charon likes to leave some essays in the comment section, which I really appreciate. But that would. Uh, that would be plagiarism. Uh, that would be self-plagiarism if he copied himself. Rod, if he uses proper citations for his comments. Well, then citations are fine. The problem is if he, you know, takes large chunks of what he wrote in, in the comments uh, and tries to, to pass those off as uh, legitimate new thoughts for the essay. Uh, to be honest, some of my comments turn out to be essays because I've given my two cents on the topic a hundred times before, so it just all comes back at once whenever the topic comes up again. <laughs> Another problem is that I have no confidence to write an essay in English. Well, yeah, you don't have to write it in English. I read Portuguese. You can read your essay in Portuguese or write your essay in Portuguese. I can, I can grade in Portuguese. That's fine. I'll write my essay in a weird mix of three languages changing from word to word. Well, if they are three languages that I can read, that's fine. If you write in languages that I can't read, then unfortunately I'm going to have to disqualify you, Charon. Uh, I went to the restroom. What are we fighting for now? <laughs> We're fight. Well, not we. Uh, Charon and Hafa are fighting over whether uh, the Kalos gym leader theme is good or not. Uh, but but they're gonna they're gonna fight in an essay. Actually. Uh, if we're gonna fight, if we're gonna be fighting in an essay over whether the Kalos gym leader theme is good or not, then the essay should just be 
about whether the why or what what makes the Kalos gym leader theme either really good or really bad, in your opinion. Why or why not? <laughs> Classic essay question. Is the Kalos gym leader theme good? Why or why not? Just listen to it is not an argument, Charon. Just listen to it does not an essay make. You're gonna have to do better than that. If your essay is just listen to it, and then Hafa's is like, because the beat is too quick or whatever, I don't know. Half is going to win because that's a real reason. <laughs> I mean, it may or may not be a good reason, but it's a reason. <laughs> so you got to do better than that. All right, I think I got, oh, not quite. <laughs> uh, almost all of the like solid lines. There's, oh, of course I did. Yeah, I drew a whole bunch of stuff on the wrong layer. That's fine. And now I just have to draw the lines that are going to be a little bit, or that are probably not going to be, that may or may not be actually included in the final. We'll see. Like this, this line I almost definitely won't include in the final. That's just, that's just going to be a color change. But maybe this one does need to be included in the final. Oh yeah, no, the this is this is not a pattern line, this is a regular line because it's the tail. Uh, what are the, the grills supposed to be? They are supposed to be vents, basically. Uh, which is just a replacement for what it had on its wrist before. Let's look at the colors now. Um, well, I guess first I'll just kind of block in where where the colors will go. 
and then we can figure out exactly which colors. Uh, it stand out is important by how distinct it is. It has a sense of seriousness, at, but at the start, this, I'm guessing you're talking about the college gym later theme. Uh, it has a sense of seriousness to it at the start, but it does shift to a tone that makes it seem like a strategic battle. You know this gym leader theme is one of the reasons I think the college one sucks. <laughs> the only problem with it is that the battles themselves are lame. I agree that the changes in the middle makes it better, but only because it finally introduces some spirits of the song before that is not serious, it's tedious. It tries to be edgy, and it fails miserably because it is simply boring. It doesn't hype you up because it is trying so hard to sound serious. Okay. You can use the red and yellow from the original. Uh, those are cool. Yeah, I can, I can probably uh, use those. Yep. Uh, if you haven't liked the video, yeah, do it now, punks. <laughs> Thank you, Gano. Blocks of colors are all established, so now I can uh, flip these, and I can make a. Uh, we we can try things out. So uh, I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna like start off with some of the colors from the original um, and we'll see how well they work.
this is not a final decision at all. Looks much better, thank you. Thank you, Indigo. You're kind of required to say that though, aren't you? It's got a cape. Uh, sort of, yes. <laughs> Uh, looking hype, but I'm surprised you changed the arm, you know, the the arms much since they were one of the only interesting things in Heatmore's design. It's true that they, they are one of the few interesting things in the design, <laughs> for sure. Um, but yeah, I can't remember anymore why we decided to change it, but we decided to change it. <laughs> Not required, just strongly advised. That's right. Uh, okay, what happened with the great color here? Why didn't it fill in the whole way? Oh, I see, because I selected the... I seem to have accidentally selected the outline. As opposed to the stuff inside the outline. All right, so what are you thinking of the, uh, of the color combinations? The design looks so different and you love it. That's great. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. And even these colors, which are just exactly the originals colors, um, I think look pretty good. Like maybe the, the color of the tail needs to be more the color of the fire. Oh, I see. Photoshop is doing the thing where it doesn't like me. Yeah. All right, so Photoshop is not liking me right now. So this means that it is classic time to turn it off, turn it back on. Yes, no one, no one used Megas in X and Y. Very few people used Megas in X and Y, which was a strange choice. <laughs> I've played X and Y multiple times without the experience share and without Megas. The main issue is that the main is that the gym leaders in Elite Four don't use the main mechanic of the game, and neither the new Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that. Mm. 
Hmm. Maybe it's... Maybe it is dark. But we can maybe put some, some stuff on top of it. You really need to, to grind before going to face the Elite Four because if you don't, you're 5 to 10 levels behind. Hey, 5 to 10 levels behind is perfect. That's where I like to be. I like having trouble in my battles. I like being in trouble and winning anyway. Especially since, uh, in Kalos especially, but in other games as well, um, they like your opponents just don't use all of the Pokemon that they have at, that they could use. Uh, like they have all they use all of their Pokemon, but like um, they they could have a lot more Pokemon than they actually do. Uh, it's really dumb that only one Kalosmon has a Mega, and even then it's mythical. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so, how, how do you guys... Uh, liking this kind of pattern that I'm putting on it. Yay or nay. I'm just kind of experimenting. Uh, like, I don't have a specific anything in mind just kind of doing it Uh, you like it, you think it's interesting, don't think it's working. Uh, what, what don't you think is working about it, Star Spectrum?
think I've missed some some messages, so I'm just gonna catch up here to what I. Uh, to the last thing I saw. <laughs> uh, maybe you have the fire on the tongue of another color, because right now it looks like the fur. Uh, I think I'm gonna, at, at the very least, treat it differently, but I don't know if I would... Yeah, maybe change the color of the fire, make it brighter, I guess. I feel like the main body color makes it look like a normal type. Well, I don't think it needs to look red. I don't think it needs to be red, but well, like what other color would it be? Just a darker brownish gray, grayish brown. I really like the look. Uh, it's like lava lamp and fire combined. That's that's roughly what I, what I was going for. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the flames would already work for me if they were fur. The way I have it in, in in my mind is that it is fur. It's just glowy. <laughs> Uh, so that it shows the, like, internal, uh, heating that, that heat more has going on. Alright, Quent. Nice to see you anyway. Uh, hope you had a good break. Uh, and the other thing is that the, the fire will actually be outlined in color and not in uh, in black like the fur will be. So it should be pretty obvious. It should be pretty clear that they are different things. I could even do that now, I think. So that should already make it pretty obvious that there's a difference. I'm not sure I'm sold on, sold on glowy fur. Uh, a bit more dark, the skin. What if the body was like, where's the body? There's the body. Oh, you're already doing this to me again, Photoshop. Seven, three, two, eight, two, two. 
Oh, I don't know. The dark red? Like, maybe if I completely change the, the color of the tail. Um, I think that, yeah. Together, these two don't don't quite work. Don't think I like it dark red. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like we can play around with this color. Uh, we can hue shift it. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it on the head when I meant to do it on the body. Actually, I might as well just merge the two, make it the same layer, because they're probably going to be the same color anyway. So, yeah. I can make some some small adjustments. That looks better. Yeah, it's a subtler brown. Uh, but if you guys aren't sold on the, on the glowy fur, it can just be, redder. I still think I should have something extra to the pattern, but it doesn't have to be that like flowy lava fire look. I like, I could just shade it right? Which obviously I will do. Uh, but like, yeah, I could just shade it in a way to just give it shape and not actually give it color. Shouldn't the tongue fire color be reversed? because fire usually hotter on the inner part than outer. You just mean like 
flip what's red and, and, and what's yellow. I mean, I... Sure? Uh, <laughs> I think it looks good as it is, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, it looks fine. Maybe put the stripes of the original of the original on its fur. Maybe. Uh, do I have any interest in making ROM hacks? I have interest in seeing ROM hacks with my designs made. I don't think I have any interest in doing them myself. I like, I think this could work. Um, this, th these particular stripes aren't working for me, but uh, yeah, maybe it could work.
Yeah, the giant anteater has the, the stripes on the fur on the chest, so it, it, it is fitting, yes. And uh, I, I do kind of like this as a nod to the design of the original. I think you like it more with the lava bubbles. I'd say the stripes add a bit more of a flair to the design. Heh <laughs> flair. Uh, is your master tablet that makes that clicking sound because it feels fake or artificial almost? This clicking sound? Uh, I didn't think it was getting picked up, but that that is uh, actually my keyboard, sort of. Uh, you can add a lighter yellow in the middle of the stripes to make them appear glowy. much I like that. <laughs> mm. Make the V-shaped chest line more furry. No, it's it, it is meant to be just a pattern. It's, it's not like, well, I like I made it a little bit bulgy, but that was when I was thinking of it as the whole thing being glowy. Um, which I guess, if it's not going to be glowy, then I should smoothen it out so that it's just a flat pattern on the chest. Because when I was picturing it as a glowy thing, as like a, you know, lava vein or something like that, um, then that made sense for that to be bulgy. If it is just going to be plain fur with patterns on it, then it actually makes more sense for it to be flat. And um, I would actually want to like slightly tweak the lines in that part of the body anyway, so that it's not, uh, so that it doesn't have as much of a, of a break. So that it's a little thinner, kind of like the, the the ones on the on the grate and so that it doesn't have that bulge yes there there is a cat back there i think she's been there for a while um <clears throat> or at least she was there when i started um i don't know if she left and came back or if she's been there all along but she was definitely there when i started Hmm, what to do with the tail? I don't think that, that making it more glowy, like even if I adjusted the color of this, um, 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe making it glowy isn't isn't the right thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the lines there, which means I'm gonna hide all of the colors again. That's better. Oh, bye, Tiny Fireball. Thanks for coming. And get rid of that. Maybe make the arms darker, like some, uh, like it's some kind of pipe. I could put a different color on, on the arms. Um, the original arms have a different color, so. I don't even need to worry about that. I can just 
I guess I should actually change the line on the belly as well, do the same thing. What are the supposed inspirations or aims of the original Heatmore design? Uh, well, hard to say, <laughs> but it's a uh, uh, anteater, obviously, but with like ironworks, pipes, exhaust. Uh, this, nothing is very clear. Nothing, like, really stands out. But yeah, like, it, its tail is an exhaust pipe. Uh, the, there's vents on the wrist. That's, that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe a furnace. But yeah, I like I think that Heatmore, original Heatmore, like it looks fine for the most part. Like we were saying earlier, like some of the part some of the their choices are a little bit awkward, but for the most part, I think it looks fine. But it's really just not very interesting. <laughs> So now the question is stripes, bubbles, well, I guess not bubbles, but stripes. Like, I think the stripes look pretty good. Like, it's a good idea. I'm not, I'm just not really sold on I guess the way that I'm doing them, the way they look.
Wild idea, stripes and bubbles. Stripes and bubbles is a bit much. <laughs> hmm. Is there something simpler I can do? Maybe just fewer stripes will do it. Like maybe I just color it. <laughs> like instead of it being like stripes or, or any kind of pattern, it's just like the at the top the fur is red, at the bottom the fur is yellow, something like this. getting pretty late for me so I should go thanks for the stream and good luck with completing the reason thank you star spectrum uh, yeah th thank you for being here thank you for your help um, I think we're pretty close to just like figuring out the design I think I think that part is close those supposed to be flames or just look like them the tail the tail is definitely just supposed to look like flames and i think that's going to be clearer when i do the shading because i'm going to shade it like fur and not like flames uh the only thing that's flames is the part that's already flames that is uh at the uh, on the tongue I, I do like that and I think that's is what I'm gonna go with uh, I just want to adjust it a little bit It's almost like like animals that have a wider underbelly. It's kind of that. It just happens to be fire colored. I like this. I like the way this looks.
this like white patch was bothering me. I'm gonna check if there's white patches on some of these other grates because whatever wherever there's a corner it's likely to have a, a, a patch that didn't get fully colored. But that's good. Uh, why the V-line? Uh, well, it doesn't have to be a V exactly, but uh, giant anteaters have that stuff that has that pattern that goes from the chest uh, and like up past their shoulders and I just kind of joins that with the tail. Um, But yeah, I, I like this. I wonder if I can do this in a way that I don't have to shade uh, the yellow and the red separately on the tail. Uh, if I take my shadow brush, this is just gonna be here as a, just as a reference. Um, Cause I wanna see if I can Edit the blending option, like put the blending options of the yellow layer to actually look the way I want it to, but. Uh, this one, this one might work actually. I just have to adjust the color itself now, <laughs> make it a little bit closer to what I have on the others. consistent color and apparently there's a little part here where I yep. <laughs> I must have uh, filled it in with the wrong color or on the wrong layer rather So you're suggesting to just put like a little tuft of fur or like on the back, I guess. Like. Like just something like this, right?
Yeah, I mean the whole the whole thing is just continuous, right? That's what that's what this is. Uh, this is the the continuation here. Um, but yeah, oh, just a little tuft of fur there uh, that I that I don't mind. Oh wait, what layer what layer did I draw that on? Oh darn. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that that I don't mind doing. Uh, Deuce can says smoothen the transition from the fire tail into the body and change the eyebrows. Not really messing with the eyebrows. Um, I, I'm happy with the eyebrows, and we went back and forth on a lot of different eye patterns, uh, eye eye shapes and stuff. Um, what layer is this? Okay, it this layer this layer is nothing. Okay. Yeah, just a little tough there, that's fine. Um, that works. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with the colors. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with everything, so I think it's just time to, to shade. What do I want to shade first? I think I'll do the body. Would the inner ear be a darker brown than the outer ear, or even a more pink or fleshy color? Um, it could be. It, it it would definitely be darker, I think. But I suppose we could put we could make it like yellow or red or something. Just a another instance of of that color.
Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that Ear should be uh, just darker, or do you think it should have color to it? I vote making it yellow inside or pinkish. Anyone else with strong opinions? <laughs> or are we just gonna have let Gano have his way? Darker. Okay, we've got we've got just two votes. Who's gonna who's who wants to be the deciding vote here? Uh, like the pink of the inner mouth. Well, the pink of the inner mouth right now is basically just the the same red as the just off of the same red as the mouth as the tongue. That's what it looks darker. That's what it looks in red. That's how it looks in yellow. Yellow is probably too strong. The red looks good. Uh, wait, it's not redesigned into furry bait. <laughs> like the red a lot but the brown looks good too yeah I think the the red looks good too um, red or dark all right I'll go with the red because it's what I have already done there <laughs> that's basically the reason um, okay well what color do I want to do next I guess I'll do the shadows of the tail. Oh, it might be a lot less noticeable on the yellow. Well, maybe not. Maybe it'll work. Okay. Uh, our original shaped outline had some good curves. That 
Oh, I right before I actually like filled it in. Yeah, I guess it did. I guess it did have some. It, I guess it was pretty curvy then. Eat more furry bait when I don't know. Just put some, just put some breasts on this, and then you're good to go. Ah. Shading this is just being a little bit annoying. The thing is that because of the way this uh, this brush works, I basically have to do ah oh, yeah this isn't gonna work. I basically have to do uh, all of the shading without lifting my pen. Uh, otherwise, it will like if I if I cross over it, it makes a second layer. So for me to do a nice consistent layer. Uh, I need to do it all without lifting my pen. <laughs> and if, with big swaths like this, that can be that can be tricky. Good enough. Uh, hey Indigo, uh, still working, but just want to put it out there. We should have sushi tonight. Sounds good. Uh, we can go over to the restaurant and uh, even try out their bubble tea like we were talking about the other day. Um, sorry, uh, creepy truck driver. Uh, I think us live streaming our sushi dinner would be a little bit too creepy. <laughs> Uh, definitely need some highlights, obviously, um, but we're going to do the claws and the, yeah, just did like the other, the, the shading uh, of the other details first. Of course, it helps if I actually... I'm doing it on the correct layer. Looks like they just have one pair, so slapping some breasts on that bad boy would work. They, they who? They, they who had just one, had one pair? I have no idea what you. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Is this the energy of this stream? Apparently that's the energy of this stream now. 
Uh, earlier it wasn't. Earlier it was uh, very combative. Earlier we were having some, some heated discussions about uh, musical themes. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering how many mammary glands giant antators have, so I looked if they have only one, one pair. I see. That's what you were talking about. Uh, antator juicy breasts is what Gano Hasanbergovich was referring to. <laughs> oh, look at that. I need to... I need to clean this up. Oh, it's, it's not this one, it's this one. It's the, oh, maybe it's both. <laughs> this one reaching too far into it. There you go. Uh, halfway is back, mood, get, mood is going to get competitive again. <laughs> Halfway was just letting everyone else talk. Insides of the greats. Cool. Uh, oh, can't forget to shade the eyebrows. Not that it needs very much, just a just a touch. Okay, I think that's it in terms of the shadows. Time to do the highlights, which for some reason I always feel like I mess up the highlights. For some reason I just can't be very confident with them.
Oh, I'm gonna have to do something with the pupil, but I'll, I'll probably do that last. So, let's see, uh, the tongue. Sure, there you go. That looks okay, actually. Cool. Uh, when re-uploading edited to 10 to 15 minutes, add some over-voicing explaining your methodology. I don't usually do the over-voicing over thing. Uh, I do <clears throat> trim it down, but I basically just rely on the things that I say during the stream. <clears throat> It would, and some of that I do end up using as a voiceover, essentially, but, um, mo but yeah, usually it's, uh, uh, it, it does usually go to 10, 15 minutes, roughly, and it, uh, uh, the, you know, the, the, the explanation is there in some way. Although because recently I've been I have been doing just a, a voiceover um, that I write separately for a couple of my other video series, I've been wondering if I should do that for this one as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, this. I think that's the problem when I do highlights. Sometimes I do them too strong. My highlights need to be a little bit more understated. Let's try this again. Yeah, I can do a, a harsher highlight in some cases. But yeah, if you think that I should actually write uh, the voiceovers for this series, do let me know. Uh, I've been it's something I've been considering, so I would love to hear your your opinions on that. Heatmore has such a shiny, luxurious coat. He must be fed some premium Durant snacks. Well, Durant's, Durant's snacks are, are the best. Is it any, but it has to be the premium. Uh, can't have anything less.
Uh, the snout needs highlights, and the grates need highlights, okay. The tail is looking like a, the tail looking like a cape is so cool. Easily my favorite part of this design. Well, that's good. Uh, like I can kind of see it looking like a cape, but I, I personally I think it it starts too low to really look like a cape. But hey, if it's working for you, I'm not gonna complain. The only thing I'm missing is to actually like color or shade the the pupil that I totally forgot to do earlier. Oh, I'm not in the pupil. There you go. sometimes absorb poison from their prey into their skin is heat more semi-metallic because of Durant's metallic exoskeleton I would be surprised if that's what they were going for but mm -hmm. that that that's a fine explanation as far as I'm concerned I think he's done. Do you guys notice anything else that I should do before officially finishing this? Oh wow, it's 4 4 15 already. I I thought this was going to be a much faster one than this. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty happy with the result. Looks more like a proper anteater. You guys got anything else? Uh, anything that I should fix before I go? Uh, Googling anteater facts, giant anteaters in Brazil have killed two hundreds or two hunters in separate incidents. <laughs> Uh, lines, Felix. Uh, lines on what? Lines for what? Uh, it went from a man Pokemon to something memorable. Thank you. Two whole hunters. <laughs> That's pretty great. Are we good? I think we're good. Uh, so I, w I don't know what's going to be the next redesign. Um, the That'll be again up to uh, just kind of cumulative suggestions. So when the video comes out on Friday, 
make sure to to watch it and leave a comment there with which Pokemon I should redesign next. Um, oh yeah, I, I've been doing more, um, trying to stay a little bit more to the style of modern Tsugimori. It's difficult and it's not one that I have a lot of experience with. Um, so it, the, there is color on the lines, but it's only on the, um, it's only on the fire. Uh, most of the outlines don't get colored. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so for the next redesign, uh, that'll be again up to, to just what gets, what gets suggested a lot, and on top of that, what I actually feel like I can do something well with, um, something that I'd be happy with. But I can tell you when it's going to be. Uh, it is going to be August 29th is the next one. Uh, but before then, of course, there is the new 151 stream for, I think, Drowsy and Hypno on August 8th. So that's in two weeks. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say to you today because uh, lately I've been recording intro and outro separately anyway. Um, so that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I, has, have I been... Am I, am I out of focus? <laughs> is, it, is this focused on the background? Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here with me, for helping me out. Uh, always really great to have your, uh, your, your live feedback that makes things go uh, a lot better, I think. And I'm really happy with the result. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> creepy truck driver, we're, we're hoping not to make it quite, you know, that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, thank you again for watching. I'm Umbreon Labrus, and I will see you in the next chapter. Bye.